The Manson family murders orchestrated by cult leader Charles Manson and carried out by his followers in the late 1960s stand as one of the most chilling and infamous series of crimes in American history. This complex and deeply disturbing case not only shocked the nation, but also left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of the 20th century. From the brutal killings to the bizarre motivations behind them, the Manson family murders continue to captivate and horrify people to this day. Charles Manson, born on November 12, 1934, in Cincinnati, Ohio, had a troubled upbringing marked by neglect and delinquency. He spent much of his early life in and out of juvenile detention centers and prisons for various offenses, including theft and armed robbery. Despite his criminal record, Manson possessed a charismatic and manipulative personality that would later prove instrumental in forming his cult-like following. In the 1960s, Manson moved to California and began attracting disaffected young people who were searching for meaning and belonging in the midst of the countercultural revolution. He presented himself as a guru and prophet, blending elements of hippie culture free love ideology and apocalyptic visions. Manson's ability to manipulate vulnerable individuals was extraordinary. He exploited their desires for freedom and belonging, gradually exerting complete control over their lives. The Manson family, initially a small group of devoted followers, grew over time as Manson attracted more disillusioned youth. They lived communally on ranches and in makeshift camps, isolated from mainstream society but deeply immersed in Manson's increasingly delusional beliefs. Manson preached an impending race war he called Helter Skelter, borrowing the term from the Beatles song, which he believed would lead to the collapse of society. He saw himself as a prophet destined to survive this chaos and emerge as the leader of a new world order. The Manson family's descent into violence culminated in a series of brutal murders that shocked the world. The most infamous of these were the killings of actress Sharon Tate and six others at her home and the murders of Leno and Rosemary LaBianca the following night. On the night of August 8, 1969, Manson instructed several of his followers, Tex Watson, Susan Atkins, Linda Kasabian and Patricia Krenwinkle to go to the home of Roman Polanski and Sharon Tate in Benedict Canyon, Los Angeles. Tate, who was eight and a half months pregnant, was hosting friends at her house while her husband, filmmaker Roman Polanski, was away. The Manson family members brutally murdered Tate, along with her friends Jay Sebring, Abigail Folgio, Wojciech Frykowski, and Stephen Parent a visitor to the property. The brutality of the murders was shocking. Tate was stabbed 16 times, and the word pig was scrawled in blood on the front door. The killing sent shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond, as the randomness and brutality of the crime seemed to herald a new level of senseless violence. The following night, Manson himself accompanied a group of his followers, Leslie Van Houten, Steve Clem Grogan, and others, to the home of supermarket executive Lino LaBianca and his wife Rosemary in Los Feliz, Los Angeles. After tying them up, Manson left the house and his followers brutally murdered the couple. The words death to pigs and helter skelter misspelled were written on the walls in the victim's blood, adding to the bizarre and horrifying nature of the crime. The motive behind these murders was later revealed to be Manson's twisted interpretation of the Beatles' song, Helter Skelter, which he believed foretold an impending race war. Manson believed that by committing these murders and framing the Black Panthers, he could ignite this war and emerge as the leader of a new world order. This motive, referred to as Helter Skelter, became a central theme in the subsequent trials and investigations. The Manson family murders sparked one of the largest and most complex criminal investigations in California history. Initially, the motives behind the murders were unclear and the brutal nature of the crimes baffled law enforcement. However, as connections between Manson and his followers and the crime scenes began to emerge, investigators started piecing together the puzzle. 
In October 1969, Manson and several of his followers were arrested on unrelated charges, which eventually led to their connection to the murders. During the investigation, Susan Atkins, who was already in custody for another crime, bragged to her cellmates about her involvement in the Tate LaBianca murders. This led to further arrests and the unraveling of the Manson family's involvement in the crimes. The trial of Manson and his followers began in June 1970 and captivated the nation with its bizarre and macabre details. Manson, along with Susan Atkins, Patricia Krenwinkel, and Leslie Van Houten, was charged with multiple counts of murder and conspiracy to commit murder. The trial gained notoriety for Manson's erratic behavior in court, including his infamous carving of an X into his forehead, later changed to a swastika. Despite Manson's attempts to control the proceedings and portray himself as a victim of society, he and his followers were convicted in January 1971. Manson and his company defendants were sentenced to death, but their sentences were commuted to life imprisonment when California briefly abolished the death penalty in 1972. The Manson family murders left a lasting impact on American society and popular culture. The case exposed the darker side of the countercultural movement of the 1960s and shattered the illusion of peace and love associated with the hippie era. It highlighted the dangers of charismatic leaders who prey on vulnerable individuals searching for purpose and belonging. The term Helter Skelter became synonymous with Manson's apocalyptic vision and has been referenced in numerous books, movies and documentaries exploring the case. The murders also prompted changes in law enforcement practices, including increased surveillance and scrutiny of cult-like groups and their leaders. I'd like to take this time to pay my respects to the victims and all the families that were affected by these heinous acts on both sides. You deserved better and are forever in our prayers. May you rest in peace. In conclusion, the Manson family murders remain a dark and chilling chapter in American crime history serving as a stark reminder of the capacity for violence and manipulation within human nature. Charles Manson's ability to exert control over his followers and orchestrate such heinous acts underscores the dangers of blind devotion and charismatic leadership. The impact of the Manson family murders extends beyond the lives lost and the families shattered. It resonates as a cautionary tale about the consequences of unchecked influence and the vulnerabilities that can be exploited in pursuit of power and ideology. As long as there are individuals willing to follow without question and leaders willing to manipulate for their own gain, the lessons of the Manson family will continue to reverberate through society, reminding us of the importance of vigilance and critical thinking in the face of persuasive and potentially dangerous ideologies. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, share it, and hit the notification bell for more killer cliff notes. And we'll see you in the next one.